Welcome to Workshop Wednesdays. This is the first video in a series I'm going to be doing on how to do various elements of simple or basic club building. Um, some of the jobs I'm going to video might appear to be easy. I'm sure you've all tried to tinker at home. I'm going to try and show you the basic steps to avoid uh, any accidents or personal injuries. So here we go. Uh, this is how to, uh, how to re-grip a golf club. Uh, Multi-compound whites, these have been on these particular clubs for quite some time. I remember uh, gripping them for a, a former employee uh, a number of years ago and it's the first time he's had them re-gripped. So I know that uh, the, the rubber compound is going to be slightly perished. It could be quite hard to remove. So the first and most important thing is a fresh blade. Uh, when taking grips off, we always opt for a hooked blade. Uh, far better than a standard blade because with a standard blade, when you're striking down the grip, you could end up going through the grip, through the grip tape, and into the shaft it's, itself, and you certainly don't want to be doing that with a graphite shaft. So, fresh hook blade. The first bit is I'm going to just, uh, just nick the top of the grip with the hook blade, and that's going to give me the ability to strike straight down, keep the hand where it is, and only move the hand with the blade all the way off the end of the grip. Make sure that you have an open stance because if for whatever reason the blade goes, you don't want Mr. Femoral Artery to be in the way. Okay, um, with grips that have been on there some time, uh, if you've got a, a, a fresh blade, it's very, very easy to quick. Flip it through 180 degrees and do the same thing. Open stance and down and away from you. Okay, blade down. Then it should just simply be a case of peeling the grip off to reveal the tape underneath. Okay, uh, this particular uh, customer, we've gone with two layers of tape. Um, so uh, we'll literally just be taking these off and popping, them, uh, popping uh, some fresh tape back on. There are instances where if the grips haven't been on there very long, you can reuse the tape underneath, but for this video, I'm going to be taking the tape off. Um, depending on how long tape's been on there, the adhesive within the grip tape can start to get sticky, uh, dry, and adhere to the shaft. So the simple way to uh, make it come off as easy as possible rather than trying to lose your fingerprints is to use a heat gun or a blowtorch. Now, um, you can use either. I'd recommend a heat gun because you can control the temperature much more easily. So full heat, passing the heat gun over the tape and just over the tape, not over the shaft, it doesn't need to. Rotating the, the, uh, the club with your left hand if you start to see bubbling or the, the tape changing color or glowing, you've gone too far. That should be sufficient. And then all we, can, all we have to do is just peel the tape off. There we go. This is going remarkably well. One tape, what could possibly go wrong? Okay, next, grip. Okay, grip, right, okay. So, fresh multi-compound white grip. I'm going to align the top of the shaft with the white lines at the very top of the grip, which are about three-eighths of an inch from the, the, uh, the, the end of the grip. With my right hand, I'm going to place my thumb, the tip of my thumb, in line with the, uh, with the black lines at the bottom of the grip. Then we move to the tape dispenser, keeping my right hand on, on the shaft, and I pull the tape out and attach it to the shaft in line with the tip of my thumb. All I'm then doing is probably taking an extra, extra centimetre and a half, two centimetres off the end of the tape. The reason why we do that is because um, when, you, when you roll the tape up, you want to create a seal that has, um, that has two uh, benefits, well, that, well not benefits, uh, it does two jobs. It seals the shaft so, um, so it keeps the inside of the shaft free from grip solvent or any moisture and also it creates a barrier so when you put the grip on this it, this it helps the solution and the grip slide over the grip tape so we roll the tape to the center of the shaft that way you eliminate all creases and kinks again with my fingers i'm just rolling the tape down and when you get to the end you literally just twist and pop it in the, uh, the top of the shaft. This second layer of tape. 
The second layer of tape I start probably a couple of millimetres short of the, uh, the first layer. If I was to be doing four or five layers of tape, then I would very, very gradually start them further towards the butt of the shaft. That creates a very nice taper. If you started all the tape at the same, same point, when you push the grip on, there would be a, a cliff edge where the grip would just, would just try and close over the end of the tape. Um, aesthetically, this is far, far better. So the second layer of tape, again, just about a centimeter over this time because we've already sealed the shaft. We don't want any excess tape. And then you can just roll the tape to the middle of the shaft, twist the end and pop it in the, the top of the shaft. Moving on to gripping, I loosely position the club toe up because I can always make any fine adjustments once the grip is on. Remember this bit, finger over the end of the hole in the grip. That'll stop solution pouring out everywhere. And I'm only just popping just a little bit of solution inside. Uh, we use a, a solution called um, Ecosol 500. It's a little bit less dangerous than using flammable solvents. Okay, with finger still on the grip of the shaft, I put my finger on the other end of the grip. Did I say it right? Finger on the end of the grip. Hole on the end of the grip. Finger on the other end. Right, let's do this. Shake the grip to coat the inside of it and pour the solution onto the tape. With it evenly coated, if you haven't coated it enough, you can always just make sure it's uh, all over the, the tape. Just popping the tip of the grip onto the shaft, which allows you to seat it correctly. I always push from the, the butt of the grip to make sure it's, it's all the way down. If it's not all the way down, you'll end up with clubs with different lengths that can affect swing weight as well. Um, release the club. And now I can make the final adjustments by aligning the notch at the top of the grip with the middle of the grip, running down the center of the Golf Pride logo and the, the, the little black uh, mark at the very tip of the grip. So this is where I make the final adjustments. What you want to see is an invisible line running through the center of all those, all those reference marks with the club um, in, uh, in a neutral, neutral position. One thing to notice though, that if you do grip a driver or a three wood that has a tendency to sit shut or open on carpet or concrete, make sure that when you align these reference points at 12 o'clock, the face, the, the face is sitting in a neutral position that you would, you would feel comfortable at impact. If you grip the club when it's sat, sat shut like that, or if it's open like that, you're gonna find, especially if you have reminder grips, your reminder is gonna be on the si side of the grip. So always grip a club um, with, a, with a square face. And you've got about a minute to make these final adjustments before you can feel the grip start to, start to dry. And once you're happy with that, set the club down vertically. It would help sometimes if it's near a radiator, that would just accelerate the drying process. Grips take approximately 30 minutes to an hour to dry. Um, if you can, leave them overnight and they'll be good to go in the morning. So I hope you like the first video. If you do like it, please do support us subscribe to our channel, click the bell icon so you'll know when we're doing our next uh, workshop Wednesday, but obviously the clue's in the name, it will be every Wednesday from now on, and I will start to show you some more uh, basic club making tasks that hopefully you can carry out at home and uh, uh, eliminate as many issues as possible. So thank you very much for watching.